A brief history of adventure and dual sport motorbikes. In a sense, the very first motorbikes were all dual sport or adventure bikes. In the late 1800s, most roads were dirt, and so the very first steam-powered motorbikes were usually kicking up dust. As tyre designs improved, tread patterns emerged that suited dirt roads and sealed roads. As steam power disappeared, it was interesting to see how many of these early bikes were two strokes. Advertisements well into the 1920s showed motorcycles on dirt roads. Over the next 20 years, most roads in developed countries were paved. Motorbikes became heavier and more suited to road riding. In the 1950s and 1960s, BSA and Triumph offered versions of relatively light street motorbikes with high exhaust pipes and they called them scramblers. In 1968, Yamaha created the DT1. It was arguably the first true dual sport motorbike. The DT1 was comparatively light and slim, equipped with block pattern tyres and had good ground clearance. Its design put it at the cutting edge of off-road bikes at that time with a 250cc five-port engine based on a motocross design and Seriani-type front suspension. Adventure riding really began with the BMW R80GS in 1980. The GS is German for Strasse, which means off-road and on-road. Many riders say it was this motorbike that helped BMW continue, as the company had been struggling since the 1950s. Modified versions won the Paris-Dakar race four times in the 1980s, Helge Pedersen rode the R80 GS for 10 years and 250,000 miles around the world, which helped to create BMW's credentials. BMW released the R100 GS Dakar model in 1984 with protective bars, a solo seat, luggage rack and a 35 litre fuel tank. Over the next 20 years, manufacturers began producing heavier and less dirt-worthy motorbikes based on four-stroke engines as they searched for better combinations of weight, power, durability, performance and comfort. Suzuki introduced the popular DR350 in 1990 and promoted it as a dual sport motorbike, a dirt bike with a license plate. This is when the concept of dual sport really became popular. It also led to lots of debate. Some riders felt that adventure and dual sport are the same thing. Some riders love to argue about this. Our opinion? Eh. We see a lot of these terms as overlapping and use graphs like this to try and make sense of each motorbike's purpose. <laughs> Personally, we would rather ride than argue about definitions. Do you see yourself as a dual sport or an adventure rider? Which motorbikes really stand out as examples of dual sport or adventure classics? Let us know in the comments.